if I'm dating a guy and he like offers my friend like a water, I'm like, do you want her? <laughs> do you want her? <laughs> do you Tana. care about if she's thirsty? Like, I, uh-uh, uh-uh, Tana. uh-uh. Oh, you like her shoes? Let's go home. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. <laughs> Our first guest of 2023. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, Tana. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know I was your first guest. I love it. I know. First guest, we're waiting for someone good. You guys, mic, sorry. I am literally honored to be in their house right now. I'm not even <laughs> kidding you. I feel like the light switches are like custom patterns. <laughs> like the, the outlets are about to start talking to me. Like it's, it is fully, <laughs> everything's equipped. Everything looks beautiful. I'm happy to be here. I was just telling Tana how you're fun employed right now. And oh, so yeah. we the, love fun employed. The, the TLC that's gone into not only the lighting of this podcast, but also like our Tupperware collection and our glassware organization. I yeah. had no idea that I was a perfect Karen. Like yeah. just sitting there and just like, just obsessing over all the things that nobody else seems to care about. But that is This my, is 31. I this is it. 31 here. I can't wait. You guys are like the <laughs> container store and I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait to feel that. Like I'm, I'm in that era right now. I baked a cake the other night. I was like, who am I? Oh my God, I saw that. I don't know what I'm going it looks, through. It looked like high key so good. It was a cute cake. Everyone enjoyed it, honestly. I'm on fucking 75 okay, hard right now. So I didn't even eat it. I that. was just baking a cake for fun. Can you explain what 75 hard is again? God, yes, it's my life's it's like, living hell right now. It's a you've, there's like a reading component to it too, right? Yeah, Are you and doing it's that surprising. I know that people probably think I can't read, but I'm out here <laughs> reading. Um, but 75 hard is like it's this challenge, and I've always seen people do it too. And I would just roll my eyes and be like, "Pussy!" Like I hated it. I was in my my fun era, and then I decided to do it this year, just test my health limits, my discipline levels, and it's like, yeah, it's no alcohol. Like follow a diet of your choice. So I'm doing like gluten free. Workout. Oh, diet of your choice. Okay, that's mm -hmm. amazing. That like gives you a little more right. like flexibility. Absolutely. If it was like some, if I hated it, I would already be done. Yeah, have, like yeah, a yeah, crunch yeah. wrap in my hand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> workout twice a day. One of them's supposed to be outside, but that's just not happening for yeah, me like at all. It's kind of my own version. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, and then you read and you journal and you drink a gallon of water and then you start all over. So oh my for God. 75 days. Yeah. And I'm on day 19. Who talked you into this? Kind of Jeff. Jeff was trying to talk me into it for a while. And then I was like, no, do you think my fans want to see that? That's so boring. I love my life. Like <laughs> they want to see me in Miami shaking ass on a boat. I want to be crazy. Then I went to Miami. I shook ass on a boat. I stayed there for nine days and I came back and I was like, oh, I'm not cut out for this anymore. I feel 80. I, I feel 80 years old and I just, I'm enjoying my Karen journey. Right. Yeah. Okay. What's the hardest part? Um, I don't know. I mean, when I'm not, dr not drinking is fine for me, but I become such a hermit. Like when mm. I do all the like events and dinners and yeah. stuff, I'm like, yeah. all right, guys, I had an appetizer. This is fun. I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> your happy birthday. <laughs> Whoever out. you are, I'm out. Yeah. Like it definitely, I'm in like work mode, sleep mode and not so much. Also, Fun mode. I just like want to put this on the record that Tana was outside our house at 6.58 for a 7 p.m. podcast. You get a lot of shit for showing up to shit late. Every time I on ever see Tana time. anywhere, it's someone bitching about, well, she was an hour and 37 minutes late, but she's here. On people love early, Tana. Early. early. First of all, it's people like you that do God's work for me <laughs> because I'm going to clip that and I'm going to put it on like a deck right. for when I'm pitching myself or something. So God bless you. Um, definitely when I am in my Karen era, I'm a lot timelier, but people to an extent, it's like a bit now. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like a party. Party yeah. starts at nine. I show up at 10. They're like, yeah, an hour. It's a fucking party. Get a grip. Like if I'm late to anything now, people like, but you know, I've obviously had some awful years. This as is well. new Tana. We love new Tana. This is new Tana. I think you, is your mic following you? Is my microphone what? Is it falling on you? Is it like too loose? No, I'm just kind of, I'm like ADHD. If it like moves a little, I'm messing with oh, it. Oh no, you're like, as long as you're good with it, I'm good with oh, it. Oh, I'm chilling. You I'm, think you're ADHD? Like, I'm ADHD. So, so badly. I walked in, you were like, that are all kicked in today. I was like, little do you know? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, punctuality and Adderall, Hand in hand. They're best friends. Otherwise, like I'll get her, I'll get to it. How are yeah. we all coping under the Adderall shortage right now? Not well. I called a hundred pharmacies in one day <laughs> a couple months ago. I'm not kidding you. I dedicated oh, yeah. the entire day, but then we found one and it's fine. So thank God. But And you're like, I'm going to gatekeep the shit out of that pharmacy. Abs I don't even know where it is. I think it's in like K-Town or some shit. It's it would like, be it's easier like to get back heroin. alley. It's probably right, like some right, guy. Right, right, right. I've it's, said it's, this many times. It's, it would be easier to just get just straight, straight fentanyl. 
And oh, then it okay. would, meth. It's yeah. straight meth. <laughs> then it would just to get like my prescription filled. Oh my Absolutely. God. Especially okay. in Los Angeles. It's it's hard for yeah. sure. Yeah, because but everyone's on it. 100%. Truly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is Tana 2.0 or 3.0 or 4.0. 4. Probably 7.0. Let's be real. We love a rebrand. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, like really you're out here like fucking Madonna just rebranding all the time. Well, thank you. You're so nice right now. I love it. Always I nice. Like always nice. Don't get right enough now. credit for like a lot of like the rebrand and the bounce backs no, you've had. We're just well, making you feel comfortable. We'll, like we'll start cutting in like really deep. Right, the stuff comes God. in later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm used to. You know what I mean? That's where my heart's at. <laughs> <laughs> when did y'all meet? We met through maybe Escape the Night. I, that's what I was gonna say. We met on it. Was it which Escape the Night were we on together? Um, Both or what? I've only been on one. So was it for the flex three? Because you came back for All Stars, right? Yeah, is that <laughs> the one we were on together? No, no, no. I, I bitch, I was on a regular season. I was on an All Star. It was. It's all a blur to me now. I was on the Gabby Hanna season. Oh, okay. That's why I blocked it out because trauma. Because <laughs> trauma. <laughs> I'm kidding. We met there. That was so long ago. It was forever ago. That was like what, my what first year? like big official like YouTube type of production thing. Really? Yeah, I remember that. And then I also, yeah, that was crazy. There was a lot of strong personalities on Big that season. Personalities. That's coming from me. <laughs> like, <laughs> holy shit. No, literally like oh. looking back, you were like very tame. Why well, I just couldn't get a word in. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> truly though. Truly I'm though. kidding. I, Big personalities. Yeah, it was, it was really fun, but that season was crazy. I remember like crying to Joey Graceff at one point. I was like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> These bitches are not you. And How long does it know? last? Because you've described it to me as if it's like a, a survivor season. Oh my God. I mean, like you go in at like two or so, like in the afternoon, you get your hair and makeup done. They put you in like your extravagant costume that also was like usually very heavy and, right. and, painful. Then, and super painful. And yeah. then you stay until like four or five in the morning. Cause and they would always shoots. lie to me and tell me to be there early, which I respect. Um, so I'd be there so much earlier. <laughs> I always had the hoe outfit. So it was mm -hmm. like corset. Mm -hmm. Someone's like, foot was foot, on my yeah, back, like tying it. me yes. up. Like it was just, but so fun in the end, you know? Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. But yeah, night <laughs> shoes, they run real late. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. not. And then you guys met through- The same way I met every influencer in this city. <laughs> through STEM. <laughs> through, through STEM. Ev through everyone releasing music once. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you, I was about to release my song Hefner and I was friends with Hunter, still am obviously, um, and he introduced me to you. Which I, I'm thinking back, so random. Oh, yeah. you knew Hunter before Tana? Not really, no. Okay. But like, you know how there's like a hundred people that know everybody? <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And that's it, and it's yeah. just see the same people. We met at a- At the mall, what mall is that? So it's, it's, it's Cent Century West City? Field, Century, so one of those. Wasn't it at like a burger spot? So I think randomly? it was like outside of the Shake Shack there. I remember it. <laughs> yes. I was like, I'm going to be a musician. <laughs> to be oh, fair, so I saw how much Hefner made. <coughs> a musician. A the musician. Hefner, yeah. She paid, she kept the lights on for a while. What, wait, was there, there was another song too, right? There was Hefner and there then- There was a couple. There was, there was probably in total like- 11 songs oh, and feet, 11? like feet, some are features. Yeah. Cause I really, I really got out there and was doing my <laughs> features. Like as if it wasn't enough to release your own damn music. You had oh to start God, doing features. Oh my God, I missed a few. Oh, I was rapping, I was singing. I'm surprised I didn't do folk and country and There's get still, a all banjo. There's still time. I There's toured still time. too. It was like, I was like on stage doing oh, my such God. an embarrassing era. But that's when I was, I was just shameless. I still am, you know, but like the, you it say that, but you've got like an empire now to protect. Yeah, so I yeah, feel yeah, like, yeah. you know. Now I'm a little smarter with it, but at that time it was like anything for clout or money, which was scary. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to be a musician. Um, and it was fun. The fans love it. They're like, do another one. But I'm like, why? Like, are, are, do I have deaf? Just all deaf fans? Well, I, just, I think people bad. just like love seeing shit like that. And they don't realize it's like, then I have to listen to myself for however long. And oh you, yours, of course, was great. Oh yeah, yeah, a bob. Yeah, both of them. A bob. Both. I was in the the roast yourself era. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that I was did roast yourself. Yeah, that was how we met originally. Really? Obviously, previously engaged in another relationship, but um, you were previously it. engaged. No, 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 no. he was. Oh my god, how sad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was Try the two. test run. We got the kinks out, and yeah. this is the real time. Yeah. Speaking of being being engaged, you got me in so much trouble the other fucking night. <laughs> What did Literally, they do? Our I was most recent fight. So mad at you. <laughs> what? I'm not kidding. After was it the streamies? It was after the uh was it after the streamies? Yes, yeah, after the streamies. I made some fucking crack to you about like how you like made some comment about it's so like when are you getting married? And I was like, if you'd wait like three fucking weeks, it'll happen. And I go, but shh. Wait, and so did did you know? Well, no. I, I, thought, I mean, you were on a sick one. Okay. I, sir. I said it. 
and, uh, and, she, and, and Tanner walks over drunk. immediately and just goes, <laughs> so like, where's the ring? And I'm like, we just talked about this. You're killing me. I Well, first of all, I mean, we're both very sarcastic, all of us. Like, we Always. joke with each other when yeah. we see each other. So I just thought you were kidding, you know? Some drinks had been had. So I was just kind of playing on to what I thought would be the joke. And then I actually remember seeing it on my timeline. I was like, ah, oh, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's good, good. Tell Tan I'm going to do it. Don't tell her. Don't say anything but about it. But you did Tan not I'll, say it. Like, I will be proposing. Don't tell her. It and Tan walks over, makes one fucking crack, and Lauren's like, really? And I was like, oh, fucking Christ. Well, thank fucking God it took you long enough, you know? Four years is a great amount of time. I know, that's what healthy people do. I, I'm trying to figure that one out. I just, have you guys seen the new um, Pamela Anderson documentary on Netflix? No. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's our next on our watch so list. so good. I went to the premiere and I'm like such a non-phone person. And I was like, or phone person. And my phone was under me the whole time. I was glued. I went and watched it like three more times. It's really? so good. Really? But to her, she's just like, she's been married like 10 times, you know? And she's so nonchalant about it. Like the same way someone would like go to Starbucks and get an iced coffee. It's like she's, she's like at the chat getting married yeah. and that's I'm trying to you know not untrain my brain to think like that <laughs> but I'm down you know so right. it's like I get it we were your first wedding what? Oh, oh my god. god that's right we were at your first wedding that, how fun and fresh was that <laughs> oh you know what god. I mean oh my god I about that it was a great trip to Vegas I was doing an interview for Forbes yesterday and the Forbes <laughs> guy started asking me about it and I was like can you just ask like, me how much money I made last <laughs> year please <laughs> can we go into anything else yeah <laughs> absolutely it was funny at the time Okay, wait, but I want to circle back. So there, we fought about it afterwards because- Oh, that's right. Like, I feel like so, we've had, like Jeremy and other people have had this conversation so many times being like, when are you yeah. guys getting engaged? When are you getting blah, blah, blah. Because if he loses you, what is there to live for him to live for, you know? What, did you hear that? <sighs> yeah, no, I heard What? It. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. God's work, right Seriously. here. Seriously. You've got the ring now. <laughs> I know, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> wait, I actually want to see, can I see it? Oh, it's so good. Y'all are rich, living your life, and the nails. It's so good. Classic. I hate when people get a crazy. I'm not typically a New Year's resolution type of person, but I did make a commitment to myself to focus on prioritizing getting a little healthier this year. HelloFresh has been there to help us eat better by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to our door, taking the hassle out of dinner time. We've been loving our HelloFresh meals. It's convenient. The recipes are actually amazing. And whenever I've had a busy day, the last thing I feel like doing is cooking, which usually means spending a fortune on delivery fees and eating like crapola. But HelloFresh has changed the game for us. No matter what your lifestyle or your meal preferences, HelloFresh has recipes sure to please everyone at your table. From fit and wholesome to veggies or family friendly, you'll always find something even the pickiest eaters will enjoy. And I assure you, they are not pickier than Lauren and I. <laughs> I mean, it is ridiculous. It's, it's, it's out of control. We have the palate of a third grader. <laughs> you can customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides and even adding protein to a veggie dish. And you can even upgrade for organic chicken or organic ground beef. Last week, we made this balsamic- We? We? Well, last week- We? <laughs> Last Give the credit where it's due, Jeremy. Okay, wait, uh, la you didn't hear what, okay. Last week we ate <laughs> Fine. the balsamic tomato and herb chicken with a buttery garlic spaghetti. And well, my mouth was watering and it's watering again, just thinking about it. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes to choose from so you'll never get bored. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 65WT9 and use code 65WT9. Why 65? For 65% off. Huge. Plus free shipping. Huge. That's HelloFresh.com slash 65WT9 and use code 65WT9 for 65% off plus free shipping. I thought like 50% off, like 50 yeah, feels like so that much. Been great. But then you I'm throw me a 65% <laughs> off and I'm like, oh my God, I'm down. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. When you're at your best, you can do great things, but sometimes life gets you bogged down and you may feel overwhelmed or like you're not showing up in the way that you want to. I hate being bogged down. Listen, I, I'm not a big bogged guy. I'm not, I'm not, I hate being bogged. I hate having the boggy vibes. <laughs> You, I feel like you-, you I, I stay bogged. Sometimes. Sometimes I get bogged. Yeah. Well, Tilly's, we really want you to be at your best and working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you. Again, I, I know I am familiar with feeling bogged down and it's not fun. It affects every part of your life, relationships, work, and overall happiness. And talking to someone about what you're going through helps take some of the weight off your shoulders and gives you, and can help give you a new perspective on what's keeping you down. BetterHelp is here to give you tools to live your best life and to be your best 
best self. I am a big proponent for therapy because I have firsthand felt the effects and I can't imagine where I would be without it. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional costs. We've talked about this before, but your connection with your therapist is really important. So we love that BetterHelp lets you switch in order to find the best fit for you. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash WT9 today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash WT9. Yeah, no, you can't leave me now. It's done. So your fight. I want to hear about this fight. Oh yeah, it, 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 I mean, and honestly, we really don't like. Like, I wish that I had more drama to tell you in terms of it being a fight, but it was more like I want, I want some breaking we, shit. When are we gonna get in cage? Yeah, because I like whatever you said. I like, immediately <laughs> shut it down at that party, and Lauren was like, "Hey, I want to like, talk to you about like how quick you like shut that down like in public today." And I was like, "Oh, pop my off, fucking queen. god!" I was <laughs> like, "Wait." Off. Nine days, Lauren. Just literally? wait fucking but nine days. what do you say in those nine days? Because you can't literally be like, yo, I'm doing this in nine days. His response, the way that he responded being like, I don't want to talk about this right now. I was like, me being a little bit psycho. I was like, does that mean it's happening soon? Like, right. I took that as like a, like, oh my Nail God. appointment oh my next God. day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh I, yeah. I mean, just truly just like constant. Really? Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, Okay. Whatever. Oh, that's cute. That's, see, that's what, that's, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but in Tana's world, that's not a fight. Like if oh, they yeah, like wasn't like, actually a fight. If if lamps aren't broken, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, I think but, we like literally talking about this yesterday, well, earlier today. Mm. We haven't fought about business ever, and yeah, we were talking on an, on another podcast today about like how not all couple couples should be doing business together. Yeah, and I feel like you've we'll been, talk about you and Jeff in a bit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, I feel like even bigger than that is that you've got a new man. I do have a new oh. man, um, and. <laughs> It's like, is it, a, is it considered a soft launch when you post a picture of them, but don't show their face? Or is Ooh. that like a semi soft launch? I, I don't know. I've actually been going back and forth on this with like a lot of people on if that is the correct term for a soft launch or not. I'm so impulsive. I probably shouldn't have posted. They were just cute <laughs> photos, you know? They, and that's, that's my issue too. Is it's like, it's cute. I'm posting it, but then I'm like, oh no, no, everyone. <laughs> I don't know. When I started doing prep for like you coming on the pod, I like all of my For You page was like Tana related stuff. Oh my God, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> like no. she's like, bring back the DIY the videos. The way that TikTok detectives oh, are yeah. trying to piece together who your man is, is yeah. insane. It's, it's like quite impressive. It's really, I mean, he just like knows nothing about social media. I said he didn't have an Instagram or something and then people took that and ran with it. They were like, she's a liar. It technically he has an Instagram, but I, I kid you not like, does it just learn to post a story on the app? Like I kid you not, That's this man so like, wholesome. hates it so private on it. Like doesn't use yeah. it. Like it's like for his family, so they like know he's like alive. Like you know what I mean? Like it's like one of those and, like, and, signs of life. And people were like finding his address and background checking oh him. And I was okay, just like, That's just, the TikTok I saw. Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like to him, I was like, Oh my god! Like it is so hard. Yeah. When you're not in this world to date someone in this world, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like that's so, I was like pissed. It's like there should be a starter kid to dating you. Oh uh, my God. And the, like it would man. be a scroll. It was just the <laughs> list would Chapters. go on and on and on and on. And I know that, you know what I mean? He's a very great, like accepting. Mm -hmm. He doesn't give a shit, you know, he's like, do your thing. And, and so he works secure. like a normal, a normal job. Like? Yeah, he has a normal job, does great at it. He lives though in Vegas and mm. I've oh. known him forever and like oh. all that type of stuff, but. Long distance, man. It is, it's hard. Because fuck it, I, it's not for me. I can't, I like. Oh yeah, I I've, I never have, and I don't think I ever like, could. We were even talking about like, if even as a married couple, if the, some job was like, oh, you just have to like do six to nine months over here on the other side of the world. You'd be like, yeah. you're coming with me. Yeah, like if yeah, we could yeah, do yeah, it exactly. together, I, I just wouldn't, I don't it's, think I have like the, the, the ability to just balance those things anymore. Oh my God, no, I don't think so either. It's, no, it's, I don't know if it's for me, honestly. I think he's amazing. Like, and, it's, and it sucks. That's the thing I was, I was with um, one of my friends at a party and we were talking about it and he was like, yeah, it's crazy. Long distance is just like one of you will eventually have to move. And obviously that's, common sense, right. mm. but I don't think I'd really just, like, like that was just the most layman's terms version of it. And I was like, I had a whole existential crisis. I had to go home. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but how often are you in Vegas though? Pretty often. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we're both so trash at our phones that that's mm -hmm. also like a yeah. thing there. But at the same time, like a FaceTime relationship, that's not what I want. I don't, no. I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. 
um, great human and life is great. So, but also like, I feel like sometimes it's helpful to be like, okay, is it worth it? Is it not? Yeah. If it is, okay, well, one of you will figure it out. 100%. And I think he's definitely the type of person where it is worth it. It's just figuring out the timing of it all in life. And yeah. Adult things. That's so yeah. mature. So grown, so mature. I mean. Tana 7.0 fucks. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. <laughs> We're fucking real. So, yeah. okay. As far as um, your 75 days of hell, it, when's that supposed to get done? April 7th. <laughs> okay. I'm not um, counting or anything, but oh, <clears throat> I'm counting the seconds. No, but to be honest, I also feel like once I get into the groove of anything, like 30 days or so, like, yeah. I feel like I could see myself on day 75 being like, let's do another. So, like, I, you know what I mean? Because right. I like it. I am really happy. It's a little less like fun, but I'm finding fun in other things. Like, should we have a painting night, you guys? I'm like <laughs> becoming such a host. I'm hosting a Super Bowl party on Sunday. I'm like, I'm going to make the oh appetizers. Like, what's going on? I don't know. But it's fun. Tana 7.0. Holy she, fucking she shit. Fucks. I'm still batshit though. Like, <laughs> don't let it, don't let it. Like, like, don't get it fucking twisted. You know what I mean? Like, I it's I, I fight demons up here. <laughs> but like, <laughs> about like, taking like all the time you would have spent like hungover and recovering and just putting that into whatever is on your mind that exactly. day. Exactly. It's a dangerous combo. Can it's, you yeah. go out? Cause I feel like you like post stories and stuff all the time from like the club. Can you go out and do a night sober or are you pretty much consistently like, like I'm gonna go say hi, like do my thing and then come home? More so that, like I can do it. I can do a night, mm. I'll go for some time. I'm obviously having less fun. It's yeah. like being around drunk people when you're sober sucks. It's it sucks. Fucking nightmare. You know, yeah. spill one drink on me and it's like, I give me a gun, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's yeah. like, Whatever, but it's it's LA is so crazy. You guys know it's always someone's birthday. It's always it's some every night of the week. Lunch and so much of what I yeah. do is like go go be seen, do your thing, walk that carpet, whatever. So I just mm. I try to find balance in it. But I I've told everyone ever this year. I'm like literally fuck your birthday. Like can everybody <laughs> can everybody get to, together in one quarter? So if your birthday's in the first quarter, we have one big we party. One all big the party. birthdays <laughs> in that quarter, we have one big party. Next quarter, all the birthdays in that quarter. One, I just think it's a genius idea. I've been pitching it forever. Like it's just. It, no. And I'm down to partake too. My birthday that quarter, we all celebrated. With it. Like right, it, just, it could be a group thing, it, and it could be so. It could just save so much time. No, I feel, I know. fully feel the same. Now that my birthday's over, I I appreciate that. I support this idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah. No. No. Like I want to call this off for the month of August for myself. But outside of August, we can group everyone else together. One hundred percent. I also just love a birthday trip. Go with your friends somewhere, yeah. play on a beach. It's the party you have to come energy that I'm so, like, I will send you a card in the mail. We're going to Miami. Yeah, oh, my, Miami, never. Oh, I have to go back in like a month. And I'm literally, it's it's the most terrifying city on this earth. It, it Miami never, and Miami. Never I'm literally not caught out for Miami. I do not have the endurance or the stamina to Miami. I come back with like a hundred bruises, tail between my legs, like <laughs> shivers down my spine. A hundred texts I shouldn't have sent. No dignity. Any video or photo of me is just hair crusty, uh, like from the oat, like ratchet. Just, it's sad. I almost moved there during the pandemic, and I literally like thank God I didn't because I would be dead. I, for sure. I couldn't live there. No, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. Also, yeah. I, don't, I don't do I don't do Miami weather either. I think it's, it's also very me. difficult to socialize in any big city without alcohol. Like the, it's just like it's such it's so ingrained. Yeah, oh God, especially a city like Miami where shit stays open so late. Yeah, it's so crazy. And I'm from Vegas. Yeah. So like saying that Miami is cr like I'm I'm cut out yeah, for a crazy you're so city. Right. It's you're just right. like. There's that city, man. Do you in the water. start drinking earlier, do you feel like, in Vegas? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. That seems like something that would just like come hand sixth, in hand. seventh grade, you're going crazy. And it's sixth like- Sixth and seventh grade, oh, I'm for sure. Dead. Everyone was, because it's like, Vegas is such a city that's it's so centered around, you know, sex, drugs, yeah. money, alcohol, yeah. Yeah. gambling. Like, not, you know what I mean? The whole city's centered around that. So even just in the regard that like, everyone's parents are in those industries and you're kind of raised around yeah. the like normalization of that. And you mm -hmm. are like partying in casinos by the time you're like 15 and that stuff. So it's like, so wild. I think that's why I feel like 40 now. Cause it's like, I did Vegas. Yeah, you've lived a and life. I did LA. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> and you've lived like three lives in Miami as well too. When For you go sure. on benders. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. One, one, 10 like, lives. When you walk out at 11 and you see at 9 AM, the lineup of people trying to get in, you uh, what the fuck is wrong with me and them? It's Last disgusting. time I was there, it was um, like 6 a.m. at 11 and I'm looking at my assistant who I've dragged there, poor fucking girl. She was having fun, but not at <laughs> six. She wanted to go to bed by at then. At 6 a.m., no and, one's having fun. And I'm going, let's stay until eight. You should stay until eight. I love it here. And she, I swear to God, the look in her eyes was like, I 
Tana. I quit. I quit. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> literally quit. Literally. It was you can so stay till late. I'm leaving. And it's so dark in there, that feeling of when you leave and the sun is out. Oh, oh there's nothing that makes you feel more like a sinner than just like a seeing- A sinner when you yeah. see light the Absolutely. next day. Absolutely. Absolutely. At 8 I'm like, are you kidding? How um, do you find the right assistant for you? Because I feel like your lifestyle is very specific. Yeah. And like, how do you find someone that fits in? What's the that? job description look like? Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. job, I mean, it's, the job description is probably similar to what you guys want in the regard that it's like, you know, um, um, I have my- executive assistant and my day-to-day -day assistant. So mm -hmm. my executive assistant is kind of answering emails, helping with meetings, like planning events, like helping me with run businesses and vet, like bigger stuff, but also little stuff like that. You know what I mean? I never want someone who's like too good to just like help out in any regard. Totally. Yeah. And then my day-to-day -day is more like house organization and like meeting with my stylist and picking up clothes and setting up small appointments and going to get props for a photo shoot and just more like hands-on smaller things, if that makes sense. Yeah. For me with an assistant, I feel like, I don't work well with people who bring emotions into business at all. Mm. So, because mm. I don't, like, I, I don't care how much, whatever I'm going on with, I'm going to clock in and I'm going to like lock in, you know? So it's like, I, I need someone to match that energy. I'm not saying that once we're six months in and closer that if you're like, oh my God, my, I, I'm going through, I don't, I don't mind that. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? The complaining and the what, like it's, yeah, I need yeah, yeah. someone very on it and ready to work and be able to lock in and lock out. And that's why I love Paige, my assistant. She's been my executive assistant for like, six, eight months now, but she was my day to day for like two years before that. Oh shit, okay, oh, shit. so um, she's seen Tana 4.0, 5.0, 6.0, Oh my God, yeah. Tana, and she's literally my best friend. Like we'll be dying yeah. laughing one minute, but then we're on the call the next, like, hello. Like, right. you know, and it's balance like that. And someone who is, you know, we're, we're scheduled spontaneity over here. Like there's a full schedule, mm -hmm. but there's- That's such a great way to put that. You know, yeah, yeah yes. it's, it's the shit's on the calendar, but there's always gonna be random things happening. I have bad luck, something's always happening. We're always- picking up the pieces. It's just go, <laughs> go with the flow and, you know, be my brain when I need. And she's great at that. I feel like you hustle. Thank you. I feel, I really like, I know that sounds like so simple, but like, I feel like you work so fucking hard. I really, really, really appreciate you saying that. I mean, you guys work so hard too. You guys kill it. I mean, I don't know. I, I grew up with like nothing. So when I, this happened, it was like my only passion. So it was like, make it or don't. I had nothing to fall back on. Yeah. And I was talking about this yesterday um, in an interview where it's like, I feel like when you're not brand safe and brand mm -hmm. friendly and you're not mm -hmm. getting handed, not, I'm like, not that there's anything wrong with that. I would trade <laughs> in a heartbeat. <laughs> for I the would PNG trade, brand deals. I would trade you know what I mean in a heartbeat. But for me, there was no um, there was no choice because it, it was like the only way I was gonna succeed is if I kept being authentically myself and authentically 100%. me yeah, as a yeah, brand yeah. safe. So that was the cards I was dealt. But when you're not getting handed like a Coca-Cola deal and you've got to hustle and figure out how to build your own businesses uh -huh. and yeah. market your own, it just kind of, you know what I mean? It set that ground for me to be like, go get it. Speaking of your businesses, I tried you know. to order some Dizzy last night, mm -hmm. sold out. Sold Everything. out, it is sold out. I can't even get um, some glassware. Oh my God, it's I'm sorry. It's all sold out. Well, I will find you some and send you some. Well, I heard you're um, sober, so I was like, okay, we won't crack them open. But yeah, 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 yeah. but if you yeah. weren't right now. That was bad to the Dizzy era going on podcast because four of those little cans equate to a bottle of wine. Up. It okay, so you. I've tried Dizzy, it's really yeah. good. Like Whoa. I love like a sparkling wine, like, like canned wine love. is like totally my thing. Yeah. And the first time that I ever had one that was like, um, it wasn't dizzy, but it was the ones that come in like, what would be considered like a LaCroix can or like a pop can. And it's a half a bottle of wine yeah. by accident. And it's, I don't they know. They fuck like, you up and they taste fuck. good. So it's like, you're just like, you Done. don't. Grown men will Done. do this little, cause uh, Dizzy's like half of a LaCroix. Yeah, 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 and half. grown men are like, what is this little like pussy ass shit? Forgive my language, I'm sorry. Um, pussy ass shit is welcome on this podcast. Oh, yes, thank yes, yes. Thank, yeah. yeah, it's not nine yet, so yeah. we're chilling. No, we're good. Um, <laughs> it should be hot. But um, <laughs> grown men will just like chug it and think nothing. And then all of a sudden they're like crying they're and puking. Yeah. And I'm like, how fucking funny is that? Yeah, you know what I mean? hundred percent. No, yeah. the first time I think I was watching like a movie and yeah. you know, you're just like sitting at home having a glass yeah. of a little wine. I'm like, oh my God, I'm wasted. You're like, why am I sobbing Yeah, why am I? Yeah, exactly. It's like Step Brothers. You're like sobbing, screaming, <laughs> yeah. crying. Literally, it is. It does do that. But yeah, we are sold out right now, and um, in the process of making some changes. Okay. And I think while I'm Ooh. sober, I'm not necessarily in the promotional right. phase of it. And I could, you know, like I obviously I'll repost. But you're sober right now, and it's still sold out, by the way. So Which it's is like awesome, kind of cool. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Um, but I am about to launch a weed line called Tannabis. Tannabis. In, Bitch, that That's is a the, great name. That Thank literally you. is the most incredible name. Thank you so much. Honestly, it's I'm stoked on it. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm back in my stoner era, and I'm, okay. I'm putting <laughs> forth my energy into that. It launches in April, but all my energy is in like trying it yeah. and. 
getting some seeding, some promo out there. This, so. and this is like a selfish question. What the fuck goes into like launching a cannabis line? Um, everything in the world. I will say in my entire career, like Dizzy probably took like a year and a half of work. Yeah. And like I, other things have taken a long time. I have been like vetting cannabis help right. for a weed line <laughs> since maybe like 2018, 2017. Damn. And I've taken a million, I, and I've gotten all the way to the end with so many people. And then I'm like, this isn't right. Like, Shit. and I finally found the right partner. So it's, it's hard. You need people who know their shit and not yeah. only know their shit, have proof. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's not one of those industries where you can just put your foot in the door. No. And you're not making like a sweater, you know, or what I mean? like, right. yeah. yeah, exactly. Or even, even alcohol perfume. was easier mm -hmm. than like with weed. You need someone who's like, I've sold this brand. I've done this brand. Right. Yeah. I've been doing it well, for laws 10 have fucking changed years. four times in the last three years. Absolutely. So it's like I just putting that on your name too. It's you, scary. If it sucks, cannabis sucks. Absolutely. Like, it's not just weed. It's you, like yes. it's both. Absolutely. So that is why I'm, I'm like, I'm just smoking so much for market research. I'm trying, <laughs> no, but I'm like trying it all and it's fun. But yeah, it's, I'm definitely, yeah. I, I need it to be perfect. I was explaining to someone, um, I think they were someone, I'm from Canada. And so mm -hmm. I was explaining to someone what California sober means. And they were just so blown away by how Literally. many people are California sober. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's a thing that no one else would I think relate to unless yeah. you live here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's so normalized here. Yeah. Cause I, I keep saying, I'll be like, I'm sober and then like be smoking on my story. And all the responses are like, bitch, I thought you were sober. I'm like, I am. <laughs> like I'm here, it's so, it's so normalized. Like, like It's a different culture in California too. Cause I did not really enjoy any weed whatsoever back from like the Midwest. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now I'm like, I would love a weed soda. Well, uh, oh, yes, the little, the can ones. I had the opportunity to invest in that and yeah. I didn't. I'm I just mean, a big doofus. Fucking um, love can. Yeah, they're fire. They Love are really can. fire. Well, that's the thing with California is you can go in and they're like, what is your aura telling you today? <laughs> and then you're like, well, I'm just feeling, you know, whatever. And then they're like, the orange dream, dream sickle strain. Four. Like there's just everything out here. You know right. what I mean? Where we grew up, it was like, I'm texting Jimmy from down the street yeah, right. to meet me behind a dumpster and give me some oregano. Right. You know? I was so say it's like, half spices from the kitchen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. In a, a <laughs> Ziploc bag that was used three times before. 100%. Yeah, just like ecstasy it's crumbles. That, have you ever picked a week where they just put it in your hand yes. and you're just walking <laughs> away the like this? You couldn't like, get the dime back. Bag. Yeah, you just like, got the dime. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's it like in your pocket and like all brown. You know, no, no. Yeah. The weed that I feel like I smoked in high school, I would be able to have to, like I could smoke a, like a, a, a hefty bag of that yeah. and be like fun high. Right here, one joint, dead. Absolutely, it's such dead. a tolerance. It's Sorry it's for different. the vaping. That's one thing I can't quit. Do either of you vape? Have you ever vaped? Mm -hmm. I would never I'll because I know for a fact I'll never stop. That it is like so sad and scary how addictive it is. How how bad is it for you? So, I mean, I don't know, <laughs> but- Since the I, day I've met you, you've been vaping. I know, I mean, I feel like it's, you're smoking a battery. It can't be good. Great. Well, I was smoking weed when you met me. And then the last like two years I've been vaping. And cause I was never a jewel girl. It was yeah. like, these mm. got me. And it's, it's so bad. Aren't jewels like half illegal now? <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah. I feel like jewels yeah. are are like hard to get. All the flavored stuff. I yeah. have to like text. So like, now you're texting Jimmy again, right. again on the street for it's a jewel. Literally full yeah. circle thing. I met the smoke <laughs> shop guy. He was like, "Yeah, we have him in the back. Just text me." I'm like flirting import. with him. I'm like, "No." He's like this old ass man. No, I just text him and I, I go get my vapes. But I got the nicotine patches and the gum. I feel like yeah. a smoker mom. Like it's there. Like I need to stop the. Nicotine thing, that's the thing. Like, fortunately I hated cigarettes. Otherwise mm -hmm. I would for sure be ripping them all day. Yeah. Yeah, because I just have a addictive personality. Whatever I start to like, I fucking like. Yeah. Do you when think that's a thing with ADHD? Yes. Yeah. I wonder. It's 100%. Okay, 100%. dopamine. Yeah. 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 Like, it's like, we just like latch onto it. Like Rats. Yeah. I lost Rats. the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A, a bunch of things like, you know, just like not great with like returning calls, you know, being consistent, mm -hmm. work at all the ADHD yeah. things that are like the, the worst parts. Yeah. I have all of well, them. Love that for you. So do I. I like, I. I've always had this thing where I repeat the same song. Like if I like a song, I listen to the same song. Oh, me too. 10,000, and I mean like actually bad. Like the whole time I get ready. I, I would be yeah. embarrassed for anybody else to hear 100%. how often I'm, I'm listening to that one same song. One plane ride, every single time I choose one song, it can be a six hour <laughs> flight, I swear to God, one, <laughs> the same yep. song? one song the entire time. And, yeah. I, and it, like, it's so weird because then I can like set those songs as like moments of my life. Oh yeah. But the whole time, and I found out recently that was like an ADHD thing, like having a really? comfort. Yeah, like a comfort thing because it releases the dopamine. And I was like, oh, 
my God. Wait, that of course makes so it much is. Sense. I'm on ADHD TikTok right now. So Big I. time. Big time. Mm -hmm. I'm learning more about, like, about me than I feel like I ever did as like a, a kid. Mm. And that's again, yeah. why we're on TikTok for six hours at night. Right. You know, we're just trying to better ourselves. Jeremy um, was so against TikTok for so long. And yeah. he would like send me shit on Instagram being like, hey, this was fucking posted on TikTok two weeks ago. Yeah. He was oh, like, that's the worst. I know, I know. Like, that's just what my get does. on I'm like, TikTok. <laughs> you're, like, you're so behind. And now, now that his For You page is like actually tailored, yeah, uh -huh. addicted. Yeah, but every once in a while, like addicted. it gets me wrong. I'm like, I don't want any of this shit. Yeah. Like, I get upset yeah. with it, like when mm -hmm. it's not tracking me enough. Yeah, like if I can, if I can allow it to look into more of my you gotta, life. You gotta like talk out loud in front of it and yeah. say some like keywords that you needed to like grab Absolutely. off of. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, I would. Yeah, I, I really. Do we have a game? We do have a game, but wait, I want to know what's game. your what's your repeat song right now? Ooh, what's I'll my tell you what mine is. Song right now. It was flowers by Miley Cyrus for a okay, second. Okay, okay. I saw um, the um the dude holding sign. His sign literally the other day was like, "Why can't I stop playing flowers?" Because I feel like that's everyone's repeat so song good. right and now. And I'm not even in that era. Like, I want someone to buy me flowers. I want someone to hold my hand. Like, I want. See? I don't want to take myself dancing, but I love it. That should be me by Justin Bieber's was today. Wow. Oh, um, okay. Some I'm Lana Del Rey. Boys a liar part two. Uh, by Pink Pantheress and Ooh. Ice Spice. Wow. That's my that's my repeat song right now. I can't, th I love that you're like an Ice Spice girly. <laughs> I love that, I wouldn't expect that. Like bad bitch shit, I'm, I'm simping 24 seven. Occasionally pimping, always simping. I, wow. It has to be the saddest mm. music ever for me. Huh. Even if I'm happy. If you're happy. Even if I'm happy, mm -hmm. I just wanna feel something. Okay, okay. It's, it's dark. You like sad music. Love sad, like make me. Make me think Make about like, losing my fifth grade boyfriend. Like get me in with those niche <laughs> memories. Yeah, like I wanna be there again. I wanna okay. be sobbing. It's, I don't understand at all. You are an onion of different layers, that's for sure. Oh yeah, they never stop. No. And yeah. I don't I don't know. I, yeah. I, I'm, I thought I knew Tana and I'm like, I, I don't know shit about Tana. This, no. is, this, is, this is a Always nine new right. I don't know if I know shit about Tana, you know, I'm just inventing new shit every day. I knew Tana 3.0, maybe <laughs> some Tana 5.0, but Tana 7.0, mm -hmm. definitely not. Yeah, she's cool. We like her, 7.0 is, Good Tana. She yeah. comes out sometimes in all the other pointos, but okay. I think I'm an amalgamation. Yeah. Do we have our, our okay, game? So we have a game. I so podcast games always get literally are always so fun. Okay, okay. So this one, I, we didn't have a name for it. This isn't like an ongoing segment by any means, <laughs> but we've got tweets from you and I. Okay. And we can do commentary, but I want to see if Jeremy can differentiate if it's a tweet by you or a tweet by oh, me. Oh, 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 for sure. I'm so excited. You know her tweets are so wholesome. Like, you know, just- uh. I, Every once in a while she says something on Twitter, I'm like, yo, can you call it <laughs> fucking down? Not? Like, I don't like, I don't know if you're trying to be I controversial today. I have a bit today. of an online temper sometimes. No, you're- like, Me you're, too. You are yeah. way more <laughs> controversial online than you are in person. Oh, 100%. This yeah. should all little snap. Twitter fingers is yeah. just such a thing though. I'm bad about it too. Like Jeff will clown me. He'll just be talking to me all like that's a tweet, hold on. Like it's just like, <laughs> I, it, I, I, my brain like filters out what is a tweet and isn't and I can't wait to. You tweet a lot actually. I love You're Twitter. You're active on Twitter, yeah. Twitter's one of my favorite social medias. Twitter's just so funny and fun. Oh my God, I feel like the new updates they made to Twitter, I really thought that people were just like not replying to my tweets for a long time because yeah. they moved all of like the mentions and shit. Yeah. I like it so much less now, but I-, the, I Like by the verification thing, is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so funny, I was talking about this, I think with Jeff on his podcast, it's the buying the verification thing. You you can tell that it doesn't piss anyone off but us influencers. We're like, I worked so fucking hard for that fucking blue truck, and now people can just buy it. And, and every, like, and no one. Everyone else, like, that like just like, just shits pissed. on people too. Yeah. I was like, do you know how much dick I've sucked to get this blue? I'm just kidding. That was awful. Bad joke. Bad joke. Bad joke. Wild tonight. Bad. Tana two point oh sucked dick for that. Yeah. Oh no. my god. All right, show hit us with this. Okay, give us our, hit us with our first tweet. All right, the feeling of walking into Target is better than anything a man has ever made me feel. Oh God, that's for sure, Lauren. I said that. I remember you that. You said that? I said that. Yeah. <laughs> but do you love Target like I me? I fucking love we Target. We need to go to Target. Oh my Tar God. Going to Target is better than sex. It's it's 100% better. I love you I so no, much, but it is 100% <laughs> better. Also, it's so Canada, much better. no Target. So when I what? moved here what? Like, and saw everyone going to Target all the time, I was like, oh my God, the motherland I have arrived. And what do the like sad suburban Xanax and wine moms um, have to live for in Canada? In Walmart? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Is that really equivalent? I, I like Walmart. You know, you can get shit done in a Walmart. Walmart is business. You really? Know? You're going in and it's- I feel like I, you I can do anything here. there. I don't go here because it's, 
far. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's it's, it's just not Target. You get it done, but Target is like it's an experience. The smell. The also, like, you walk it in the dollar aisle. Like it's just it's. Oh, I love the, the beauty aisle. section. Is so the, like, good with the new Ulta. Yes. Oh my uh -huh. god. Uh -huh. Also, like I don't go to Target to save money. Like you know, what, if I'm trying to find a deal, exactly. it's like Walmart's great. But if I'm going to Target, I'm there to spend money. Absolutely. It's just like I need this heart shaped muffin pan. You like, need you know it. what I mean? Like I, I need you it. Need like it. everything's just so cute there. They know what they're doing. The yeah. biggest uh, meet and greet I've ever seen Lauren participate in was the one where we were at my like hometown Target in uh. Rockford, Illinois. Uh. There was a queue forming in the middle of it. I was like, I thought no one knew what YouTube was when I left here. And now I'm back. Mm. I almost feel like the small towns like I are, was just gonna say that. Yeah, because they got nothing else to do. Because in LA, no one gives a shit. You know, you right. see everyone all the time. For right. me, that's that's where it is like heavier in the small towns. Yeah. Oh, if you want to be humble, uh, yeah. have a meet and greet in LA. But what, what about Dead Vegas? Ass. Is that like yeah. it? Or like or is everyone just kind of also Yes, but it's also like Vegas is just crazy. For me, every, when I'm in Vegas and I meet anyone, they're like, ah, I knew I'd find you here. Cause it's always the drunk ass bitches, right. you know what I mean? Um, which is fun. But even in Vegas, everyone's just lit partying. It's like quick, like right. it's wholesome in the other yeah, towns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like yeah. kids don't live in LA. Like you you like are here at 19 and up, not 15. But also there's just like so much fun stuff to do and there's so much going on all the time that like mm -hmm. the likelihood of someone spending their entire day at like an influencer meet and greet now is yeah. just like so low unless you yeah. like would die for that person. Absolutely. And I feel like the gamers have a little bit of a um, higher up though. Like, you know, if Aiden Ross was on like Melrose, all the gamer boys would be oh like, my like God. they still pull. The fucking you know? Andrew Tate fucking <laughs> dick riders. I, that all right, show us next. <laughs> All right, so there are a few things more dangerous than an unsupervised target trip with endless free time. Well, I honestly- Oh my God. That's probably the Lauren version of what Shannon just said. That's what I was just yeah. gonna say. Like the fact that I yeah. had to relate it to like a yeah. man, like yeah. making me feel something yeah. and you were able to just mm -hmm. like- Tanner was like, target finds my G spot every time. Absolutely. Like he knows right where the clit is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And then Lauren's like, this is so like dangerous. Okay. <laughs> All right. The fact that y'all care what I have to say blows my mind. I love you for sure, Tana. The y'all. Oh, you're right. And it's the y'all. It's, it's right. the, the illy. I'm not much of an illy girl. Yeah, and you'd be like, you guys are illy. like, you're just like, like, why do I talk like that? Like, I have the ick in myself at that period. Like, the way I had to put <laughs> it in the words. I hear you say I got I, I yeah, hear you yeah, say I can that. hear you say No, but it, that's like, that feels authentic to yeah. me. Yeah, it was authentic. Yeah. I'm just yeah. like, I gave myself the ick regardless. <laughs> you, were, you probably said something before that was like so incredibly niche that like you needed to have been there and then Absolutely. people actually gave a shit. All right, what's next? People who do ice baths, are you okay? I don't know who that one is. That feels like a Lauren thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's 100% me, that was yeah. recent. Yeah, because Lauren's like, uh, if she's not in a blanket in the right temperature at the right time. I also- I feel the same way. I think it's fucking unhinged that people are all about ice baths right now. It is. Let me just tell you, like I would rather, no matter the health benefits. Yes. I would rather, like, let's say it was gonna add three years to my life. Take those three yeah. years. Take them, fucking take them, I don't Absolutely. want them. Absolutely. I'm not gonna submerge myself in fucking, whatever the opposite of Satan's asshole is. Absolutely. What would, would it be God's asshole? Would that be where it's really called? Uh, like North decide. Pole realness, <laughs> yeah, Santa's no. asshole, I don't Santa's know. Santa's asshole, in Santa's asshole to add three years, I just can't. I literally, I can't. I don't get it. I feel like it's, yeah, I, I literally, I don't get it. That's it's like not a, me. That's the thing that I feel like some dude did and thought that, that was like his like manly like, like what, showing. What's the, um, it's such what's, a man thing yeah. too. Like all thing. the guys are just like my ice bath. I'm like, you look like a pansy and I'm just imagining their right. balls like shrimp. So they're inside their body. The balls sure. have gone inside the body. And as, we, I mean, and as we discussed last week, the penis does float. I'm saying all this, yeah. but now I kind of want to try an ice bath. Have, okay. I've never done it. You've never done it. Mm. It's, it legitimately hurts. And like, I understand yeah. the whole benefits of it is like mental, like mind over matter. And it's mm. like, it, it hurts. It hurts. Hurts. Yeah, but like you're doing this like 75 day thing. This is the time you would do this. Yeah, yeah no, if so I was right. gonna take an ice bath, it would be right. literally well, after this. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. This is content for know. you, I think. You know? I feel like yeah, if, if I was gonna be like an actor that had to be up at like four in the morning and have my face on camera, I would shove myself into like a pool of like icy water. Just short of like that. Like a cold shower. I do yeah. like cold showers, but I feel like that, you're right. It's like a different level. Like the temperature yeah. of that water is like actual pain, painful. Yeah, it's no. like actual pain, yeah. No, yeah. I'm good on that. Okay, so you're telling me that we can put a person on the moon, but I can't charge my MacBook wirelessly. Oh, you already know this. This is for sure, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren has this like weird aversion to keeping I thought it every was device. Me. Like, <laughs> I thought it was me. Every, 
every device that like, is a battery around here, it's fucking dead. Like, it makes yeah, no same. fucking sense. Let the same fact that I have a Tesla and it's, I, ha I haven't like died on the side of the road yet. It's yet. shocking. That's literally why I won't get a Tesla because it's like, I yeah. can't charge my phone. I'm not going to charge we, my car. We have so many so chargers successful. all over the fucking house. Yeah, I'm her. Everything's always yeah. dead. We I were talking to a dead audience right now because yeah. it's like what I am literally her. I I'm closer with my portable charger than any person I've ever dated. <laughs> like it's, it's insane. Okay, I, portable I charger, them. Target. <gasps> portable charger from Target. I was no, gonna say, uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, this is um, definitely Target. I think wow. I would, I would get the wall out. So you can just keep buying new ones. Yeah, Got absolutely. It. Okay. But I just like, I just don't understand how it's 2023. And again, we can put a fucking man on the moon, but you're telling me that I need 14 different Here chargers? Here come the fucking yeah. conspiracy just therapists. To like, charge uh -huh. my iPad, my Why phone, my tablet, my computer. MacBook charging? That's what I'm saying. Cancer. Steve Jobs is rolling We've in his grave right now. We've been using microwaves for so long. That's a little different, but yeah. Oh, listen, I'm, I'm not anywhere near smart enough to tell you why. I just know that we can't like shoot that much power. <sighs> but we us. have robots delivering I, DoorDash. I know. Why AI? isn't there a wireless MacBook Give it 10 charger. fucking minutes. It, it, it will come. I just feel like we're late on this. All right, Elon, okay. figure it out. All right, shower length, six minutes. Sit in towel, watching TikTok length, 46 minutes. Fuck, this could be either, especially because there's not a capital letter to be found, although we've got colons. Hmm. We are. <laughs> what? You, yeah, what does that mean? That's a dig at one of us, I know, you know? I know, like <laughs> lack of proper, proper capitalization. Now, I'm, if I have to send you guys podcast notes, I'm just going to like use extra colons. Yeah. Um. Fuck. We're both lowercase queens though. I, think I hate an uppercase. So do I. Yeah, I'll backspace to get it out. No, Absolutely same. This was, yeah, yeah. Uh, to get this done, you <laughs> would have to do more. more than I thought. <laughs> you literally would, you, you put more effort into making this not capitalized. I've, Absolutely. Yeah, but you can it turn has it off to be. now in settings, come on. Okay, there's no way that Lauren only took a six minute shower, Tana. Fuck. Shower, no, six men when you're not washing your hair. So you're also, men. you're saying I don't use colons and that my showers are definitely <laughs> shorter than hers. All right, yeah. sick. Uh, no, my showers are short. Yeah, I found uh, a way to insult everyone there. Okay, yeah. next. <sighs> but I agree with that. TikTok always. God, are you ever just vibing in bed on TikTok and then a video comes up that makes you sob uncontrollably? <laughs> Tana in a sad girl era. Tana of in a sad girl. I yes. cry once a day at TikTok. Don't show me your dying oh. dog. Stop, give ah. money. Literally, yes. Like, oh my God, dementia? Oh. There should not be dementia talk. Dementia talk is fucked. Wait, is that a real thing? Yes, 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 absolutely. Yes. It's like people who are going to see like their mom and their mom doesn't know who they are. And it's <gasps> the most heartbreaking thing. And they thing. record that and go, let's put that on the yes, internet? Yes, yes. No, <gasps> oh my God. So my specific niche that gets me every time is when a police dog retires and they all walk. <sighs> Tana. Bitch. Like Lauren, I, I have chills. I, <laughs> I, have, I have actual literal chills. I can't at least once a day. And the wedding speeches, the wedding speeches oh, when they oh, what, I know when the groom it. cries too. There's so oh. many. I cry at least once a day at TikTok. There's this judge. He's this little old man, and people come in and they. It's people who just like you know they don't have money oh and they're God, struggling. I know exactly which one you're talking you're about, about, and you're oh. like, and he's so compassionate. Yes, yeah. it's, it's actually and just oh, like, the, oh. He'll like he'll like he'll like he'll he'll call somebody down about like their life. They go, so you you work over there? Yeah, it's a pretty far drive for you, yeah. huh? And it's like I bet that's pretty tough. And it's like. Yes. You know he he's there shit. teeing you up right. to like yeah. cry. It's almost like sex. Like they, that's a foreplay that's yes. for the foreplay sobbing, you know? Crying. And it's, I just can't, I can't oh, deal. God. Like I just want to see like Bryce Hall dancing or something. Like, please stop making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Bryce Hall is, I, this is going to sound really offensive, but like is shockingly funny on TikTok now. He, no, I completely Topic. understand. I completely understand. I agree with you 100%. He just all of a sudden woke up one day funny. He accredits it yeah. to this, um, <laughs> which is funny within itself. He accredits it to this life-changing mushroom trip he had where he just, <laughs> Bryce, I love you, but um, where he just decided he was no longer cringe, but I'm not gonna lie, it mainly works. It, it's, yeah. you know, he's no, funny like, it on really TikTok. It really was like a fucking, cause like when I think of like old Bryce Hall, I think of like him peeing off the balcony at mm. Playlist Live. Like mm. that's what I think of. Okay, but how and, old was he then? Like, I don't know, 16 maybe? Yeah, see, it's different. Yeah, but Ooh. anyway, he like really did a complete 180 and now he's funny okay, as I'm fuck. I'm not just like defend everyone's stupid antics at 16, but if I was at 16 years old- And you had a TikTok history, oh, yeah, I mean, it'd be rough. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've always said also, I think that some people, not me, of course. Some people just need to get punched in the fucking Everybody face. Else. Yeah, a few times. And I think that after the uh -huh. McBroom fight, he he came back better than ever. And then Austin oh. McBroom just went downhill more. Like it was awesome. He almost yeah. won 
in a way, you know, with the people. <laughs> he, and he, it's not been a great couple of months or years for him. For McBroom? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. No, seriously. Mm. Um, oh my God, I need to shave my toes. <laughs> I hope this was me. Uh, Truly, oh my God, Jeremy went for his first pedicure in like six months. But I know that it, I know that it's Tana because Lauren is about, is about as hairless as it gets. Wait, I love that for you. Asian. Yeah, uh -huh. I love that yeah. for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I need it. No, I posted this photo of. Yeah, it's actually the of most embarrassing hair. photo of all time. No, of all these hot <laughs> Cheetos in between my toes <laughs> <laughs> for free. Well, here's the thing. Here was my niche. I was like, <laughs> and I was not in the right mindset here. Okay, um, like I, don't know, I just want to put I that love out the there. preface to like, like, I don't know where she was, no, no, but it was Tana, no one was home. Five point Does it still exist on the internet? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Um, but here was my thought process. I was like, this is really funny. I'm gonna tweet it, but also my toes look cute. You know, there are ten white toes in them. Tori <laughs> flip flops. They look good. White toes get chose, and so. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna post this and hopefully it inspires some people who see it to go check out what's on, you know, what's behind a paywall. Right. And then the other 50% of people will be like, she's so funny. Little did I know, I just had a forest on my <laughs> fucking toe. And it was just, and I didn't notice and all the responses were like, you need to shave your toes. And then I tweeted that because it's just like. <laughs> well, like there's two, there's two reactions to that. You could be like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed to like, I should shave my toes. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, if that's what's embarrassing Tana Mojo and the trajectory of her career, it's just like, you've lost it, girl. You know, it's that's not, in the grand scheme of things, we all might need to shave our toes what? now You would again. be shocked at how this doesn't come up. I literally did Tana Mojo Tito, Cheeto toes. Wow, yeah, well, yeah, nothing. Well, thank God. I can, yeah. wow. I can find it. I don't want to find it wow. for you. You, <laughs> you probably have a great mental image. I could paint it, you no, know like what I mean? Tana's but, team is out there like, like yeah, they're just, scrubbing yeah, they're, Cheeto that's toes. That's like exactly. what my PR people do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You get the Cheeto retainer, down. you get like the bill for that. You're like $37,000 to get the Cheeto toe taken down. <laughs> it, it, and that's real. That, I, that I really it. would be. Yeah, no, it's still up there somewhere, but. Oh, why is it low key so embarrassing to Shazam a song in public? I don't even know who said that. Does Cause I agree. I know, I feel the same way. I, uh, Lauren? Fuck yeah. That was a complete it guess. It is. Yeah. It, it I'm was, agreeing with all your tweets. Oh my like, God, where? it was so embarrassing. I did it the other day. I also was like, do I even still have the app Shazam on my phone? You do. And it was Apple so it. embarrassing. Yeah. I literally like pulled my brightness all the way down and like kind of like hid my phone. It, it, <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. want to know, you can ask Siri now. You can ask Siri now, like, what song is but, this? Which I think is better is that if someone sees you, it, you could just be like saying out loud, like, what song is this? Like to your friend. Right, right, right. But like, like Siri, like, song. what song is this? Yeah. It's so know, embarrassing. I, I agree with you, but I don't know why I feel like that's embarrassing. I don't know why it's embarrassing. It was just one of those things where I was like, oh my God, I'm giving you know, myself the ick. It's niche. It's a yeah, niche ick and I completely ick. get it. Yeah. Okay. So we all, love niche We're all icks. on that same TikTok? Yeah. I hate when you ask people their icks and they're like, when someone's disloyal, like, no, I want to know the little niche shit mm. that gives you the ick. I can't watch a man chase a ping pong ball playing beer pong <laughs> absolutely until the day I die. If I see a grown ass man on the floor retrieving a ping pong ball. Oh, oh, I, I, I have two, I have two. You just saying that makes me feel self-conscious for all the times I felt already self-conscious. Do you know that, I, and I was living on my high horse <laughs> thinking like guys don't have icks. And I was like, like man, men would always say this to me. And one of my guy friends was like, I get the biggest ick when a girl's wearing heels and she like trips a little and I was like <laughs> <laughs> trips a little like, yeah, like, a little. like knowing that men also have icks like brought me to that feeling oh, so I'm sorry also, trip. that is so offensive though because like you fucking get in four inch platforms no, but, no I cussed him out for sure I was yeah. like that's so offensive okay but, yeah. okay but question is it a little more understandable in general if even at the beginning of the night she can't walk in them Okay, if you're T Rex walking at the beginning of the night, then beginning. you shouldn't have put those shoes on to begin. That about is absolutely always me. I take off my. I, I'll never wear a heel out. That's crazy. The other night I got like styled for a premiere, mm -hmm. and I fucking she gave me some six inch heels, and I was like, listen, I I can't even walk oh. into my kitchen. Oh, in absolutely these. not. No, no, no. My stylist uh -huh. doesn't even bring shoes when we do fittings now because he knows that I won't wear them. Absolutely. If the gown goes to the floor too, I'm wearing Air Forces <laughs> underneath that bitch. <laughs> like you don't see it. Why? Why? I never understood that the purpose of heels under a gown under where you a can't. Gown, you can't see. It. Absolutely. You're so right. And I like. Being like my, I don't like like being like six three with mm -hmm. some heels on. How tall are much. you? I'm five seven. Okay. I mean, it's pretty tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm not trying to go. Right. Yeah, I like it here, but I do love heels because they weed out the short kings. You know. Mm. Uh, it wasn't yeah. When I was single, literally six in, six uh, feet on yeah. the uh, the height. It was the my height only filter on yeah. hinge between six Absolutely. four and, and that's straight. Right on Jeremy. It was the only other guy. He was met on like, hinge. Yeah. What well, kind we of? met through STEM, and then we were just retelling this story today. Got a refresher. He saw me on Raya. Okay. DM me on Instagram. No one uses it. Raya. Yeah, no, yeah. Like I feel like I'm banned from Raya. 
<laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> like, why does that not shock me? Like, like, at all. Like, at all. You, you would for sure like just like screen record someone like saying That's something stupid to you. That's not even why I abandoned something worse I did, but I had nothing to do with the screenshots. But. <laughs> even better. We'll talk about that off camera. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So we, Raya to Instagram. I missed it on Instagram. I saw him on Hinge. Missed message it. him on Hinge. What was I going to say? You guys need a Hinge deal. We truly do. Like, if you're not the face of the cover of the app and like in the marriage of it all. I mean, especially the fact that we already had each other's numbers and it required Hinge. that app. Yeah, to, to bring get, us together. But Absolutely. Like, but PSA, if you get a girl's number through work, you can't use it to fuck. Period. Facts. Damn, I need to tell 30 people that right now. <laughs> it's fucking insane. 2023. It's, it's, it's fucked up because I, I like love that. Like, if I'm working with someone, I'm like, oh my God, like. See, all right, you're but the I, I've learned. I just I went on a date with one of my like a while ago. Um, one of the guys who like he produces all my like and films all my like high budget projects. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've known him forever, and we had this set day where we were shooting a commercial all day. And at the end of it, I was like, "Why are you gonna? Why are you gonna?" <laughs> mm. And then we went on a date, and it was. Uh, if he sees this, I'm so sorry, seriously, sweetie, bless your heart. It was just, it just didn't click. I, yeah, we just did not. Yeah, just but it was vibe. bad. But then what like, do you do? Um, do you like acknowledge and it? And we made out, which was at the end of the day. And it was just so me, just like, you know what I mean? We were just there and I was mm -hmm. like, okay. And then I don't even know. And then we've tried to work together since. And now we're like so now sassy it's, to each awkward? other. It's like, yeah, the yeah, dynamic yeah, yeah, is yeah, just so weird, it's changed. Weird. Yeah, and yeah. I, I always do that to myself, so. Okay, so maybe you're the person that needs that advice? I'm the problem, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hi, it. I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> um, the anxiety I have right now. This feels Ooh. like a Lauren thing. But it's all caps. Fuck. I was going to say, I get no hangry, not anxiety. Yeah, you do get hangry. I'm hangry. What is anxiety? Just the anxiety after drinking the next day with your hangover. Like if you did some oh. dumb shit. I am just. God. I she, see, she doesn't drink enough to fucking have that. See, good for you. <laughs> see, good for fucking you. Seriously. Good for you. Um, my problem is, is either, I feel like there's two types of like so fucking drunk where you shut the fuck up or you can't shut the fuck up, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's a page of my assistant. She's like, when she's drunk, I swear, mute, mute. I need to speak to her how, through like Braille. She doesn't talk. How do I get that though? I... I pay money for that. Yeah. I can't shut up. I don't, the bartender will know my deepest, darkest yeah. secrets by the end of the night. Everyone, everyone, God forbid I see like a next boo thing or a friend or anything, just literally anything. I'm inserting myself in it. And then I wake up and I'm like, what did I say? Yeah, and it was probably pretty true. Well, it's that, like, damn, just shut the fuck up. I, I, honestly, I wish that I was just making up bullshit when I was drunk. I'm like, ah, I was just fucking around. Instead, it was like, oh no, no, that's all true. All mm, of it. I, yeah have such a serious rule in my household where it is the next day, do not look at me, talk to me and say the words. You are not allowed to say these words to me. If we drank the night prior and did anything, you are not allowed to say the words last night. Like you can't be like last night, someone blank. I don't even care if it has nothing to do with me. Yeah. Like you That's cannot say last rule. night. It did not happen for 24 hours until I can come down from that feeling and then we can discuss it. Can yeah. it. I remember my ex looked at me one day and he was just like, Tana, you know last night happened, right? Like you, like, you know, that was like a real thing. You were really there. Like, I don't know why you don't want to hear it. Like so bad, you know, it happened. <laughs> I was like, for 24 hours, it didn't. Tomorrow we can discuss that last night happened. But yeah, today, right now, still processing. Yeah, still processing. Absolutely. Oh my God. Also, um, this is a side note, but your house, the one I think that you live in, because you're, are you trying to buy right now? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so exciting. I'm Finally, so- Finally, thank yeah. God. I was, I've always wondered why, cause I feel like you move a lot and I'm like, this bitch yeah. has the funds to buy. For sure. It's actually like my only, when I look back, yeah. like, I feel like I'm pretty, I'm good. I'm financially pretty responsible. I, I definitely buy some dumb shit, but I have a great team of like my accounting team. Like yeah. they're not <laughs> I'm good. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> oh my God. No. Yeah. They literally are just like, no, now I know too. I'll just be like, Kathy's going to kill me. I can't do it. <laughs> um, we love Kathy. Um, <laughs> Finally getting to buy. I just like got fucked in some business taxes, life yeah. stuff for a long time. And I was just very all over the place. I love to move. I'm actually sad in a way. I'm sad I'm buying a house. Get a grip, Tara. <laughs> but I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad that like, I know I'm going to be wherever I buy yeah. for like at least yeah. three or four years before yeah. I do something with it. Yeah. Cause I love the bounce around of it all. I do. 
Oh my God, um, I fucking hate moving. And even just yeah, like knowing, I'm I sure what your closet looks like. I can't even imagine packing that up and moving I somewhere. have it down to a science. I have oh a person for every single facet of moving uh-huh. that every time I move, I move in like two days. No way. And it's like, oh, but I'm you have unpacked. a team to do it. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. I'm okay. like sipping a margarita by the pool, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is awesome. And I'm so lucky to do that. And I sound so out of touch. Like people, that's not normal. But I I just, I got it down to a science for my life. And I love it. I love to move. I feel the only like benefit of moving is you get to purge you all the purge shit. You purge all your shit. Yeah, yeah. then I'm like, I, I, I don't it. need this. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good for me. This. I get rid of fucking everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then you move in and it's all organized and cute. That's and- true. Yeah, you're so right. I moved three times in three years before I bought this place. And yeah. it, it was like that every year. It's like, I just get rid of so much shit. But anyways, yeah. what I was going to say We've is- We've had sex in your bedroom. We've had sex in your bedroom. In my bedroom yes. of my current house? Yes. Yeah. Are we, are we sure we're talking about the same house? Does it have a it's weird- off, well, Obviously bleep this, but it's off. Okay, yes. Does it have like- The, the back- uh, It like, has like a weird back party Yeah, thing. when you like like walk down, it has like this, uh, is it like a theater room? Like you're saying outside of my house, not the front door. Right. You walk outside. It's an apartment. It's not a theater room. It's, oh, is it yeah, an apartment it's a, now? It's a, oh, was it a theater room at one point? It was a big theater. Oh, wow. Well, it's an apartment. Yeah. Maybe it's like best friend runs it. Yeah, like kitchen, whole thing. Are we sure we're talking about the same house? Okay, like you walk in and kind of like in the middle, there's like a stairs and it's got glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys have sex in my room? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, tell me, because it was, a, no one's ever long-term rented it before me. It was always an Airbnb, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you Airbnb'd it or what? I Airbnb'd it for his birthday one year and we had a party. But so that apartment that you're talking about used to be this like this really intense, grungy, like, like a weird drug coke dungeon. Yeah. dungeon. I believe it. Yeah. Cause it, it literally still gives that. Like, yes, now it's kitchen and living room. My best friend lives there and it's a room and a, yeah. everything. It's a like house. Oh, it, it's a, but, like a fortified. Oh yeah, it was but big. it's dark as fuck. Yeah. It's dark it's as dark. fuck. Yeah, like walls oh, yeah. are dark shades. Oh, it's there's very you little walk windows. in, there is a he, kitchen he, area. Yeah, yes, there's a kitchen area. Well, I think it was like yeah. a, mostly a bar before. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> This house, it's actually funny because a lot of people tell me that they've had sex in my house because yeah. it was like an Airbnb and people would throw parties. Bryce came into my house one time and he's like, I fucked in there and there and there. I was like, okay. Okay, um, sick. Okay. So okay. talk to me about this. Was it in, I wonder, do you know which room? Which okay, room? it was in, would have been the primary bedroom where it has um, the- Honestly, bathroom that looks, it's got the view. There's like the fireplace in between the bathroom and the bedroom. And yeah. it's like a wall. <laughs> Blank. Okay, now I don't know if it's the same house. We'll find this. Okay, out yeah, we'll 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 look afterwards. But I'd already okay. actually been to a party at this house the year before yeah. as well. Because like when I walked in and Lauren like had thrown this party and like rented this thing or whatever, mm-hmm. I like was waiting to see how long it would take her before she like asked like. Well, no, one of your old friends right. had been like, "Oh, I think we've been here for a Fourth of July party," and I was like, "Fuck." Yeah. <coughs> oh, definitely. You can bleep this out. I definitely remember that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Please yeah, bleep that's, that out. That's how those Hollywood house Airbnbs go to, <sighs> especially when you're renting an Airbnb. Oh my God. And if you're taken to like you and your significant other, you're in an Airbnb, you throw a party afterwards, you're going bad shit. You Always. know, you're fucking all over the place. You're <laughs> being crazy. Like, no, you're being the, the worst version of yourself abs- that happens to have money now. It's Absol- yeah, absolutely. A terrible, that's, terrible combo. Seriously, whoever gave Tana an Amex was, that's, it's scary, you know? <laughs> Amex. Amex, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, two more. I am so officially in my grandma era. Like I can't party like I used to. Tana for sure. That's Tana for sure. Yes. My, I feel like I tweeted that drunk like, from a party. <laughs> was okay. this a recent tweet? Oh, maybe it was though when I was like miserable the other night. <laughs> I have no idea. Recent, <laughs> yeah. Confirmed recent this tweet. Is, is this like from within 75 hard, do you think? I think so. Oh, this last one's a good one. Uh, oh. Why is therapy so expensive? I genuinely don't know if this one, is- One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten question marks. And this is a great time to remind everybody that this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, <laughs> I genuinely don't know the answer. Lauren. I know. Fuck. Oh, wow. oh my God. I would If I was gonna put money on that, I, I thought it would have been me. This must really? Have been, yeah. This is, this, is, <laughs> this is obviously before BetterHelp. Uh, I like this one. Okay, rude. Fuck. That could be either one. Of them. Like, <laughs> not a capital letter in sight. I know. Tana. <laughs> Me. <laughs> the finale. <laughs> and I didn't have any punctuation like, inside. There's no context. Like, what was rude? Know, what was so, so just... bad on nine two twenty twenty? Oh, I was responding to Lauren uh, about the fuckboy episode of Wild Tonight. I can uh, hear that. Oh wow. Wow. wow! wow! Okay, got it. That makes that okay. makes more sense. Um, I'm 
so excited for our final segment. For our final segment? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Aren't, aren't you? Yeah. So we do this thing called Well Tonight Hotline where we have people like write in like their we love problems, hotline. obviously. Yep. And you've got Tana's toxic tips. Yes. I just wrapped on season one of that and it was crazy. Oh my God. What's the craziest thing that someone called in with? Let me, okay. I, I want to preface Tana's toxic tips was crazy. It was a show on Spotify where I would give people advice and- Is it live? Yes. Which is also- Does good to shout you? Yeah, because people are calling it live too. Yeah. Like there's no screening. Yeah, there's screening. no filter. There's no screening. Um, and I want to say like every single episode, I would just get the, I mean, my fans are unhinged. Um, <laughs> and so am I, you know, toxic girlies, you know, daddy great issues. great content right though. Um, I would always get like cheating with my boss, like, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. my neighbor, all that type of stuff, obviously. I remember one time a girl, she caught her boyfriend cheating on him. And she, I don't, oh, I wish I could remember the details of the story. I might butcher it. And she breaks up with him and then they're at a party, uh, a house party. And they're in front of all their friends. And it's like a two story house party. And he jumps off <gasps> the balcony. No. He doesn't like, it's not a high balcony. Like it's not high. He's not going to die. But he like breaks all his bones <gasps> and then he goes on and he's in the hospital and he goes on this whole thing telling everyone that like she pushed him and she like didn't no. push him. Um, and like, then I, I don't even holy know. Shit. Yeah. And then I think he like cheated on her in the hospital. Like, bro, I don't even know, girl. I hope you're in a better place. By the way, no. I just want to know, like, is this guy's game that good? That's insane. I don't know. Yeah. Like who's, yeah. Or it's like his thumbs got back and he's over here sexting. Yeah. I have no, no, Whenever no I hear idea. stories like this, I'm like, what, what did we do before the internet when like that person got to share how fucking insane that is? Absolutely. Like imagine that happened to you and you just like told like your mom and your sister. And like you just sat with it. You just sat with that. But, like out of yeah. curiosity, what are you, what did, what tips are like, <laughs> yeah, what, what was the idea that? that? A lot of it was definitely just like an, hey girl, I'm really sorry. And yeah. I hope things look up for yeah. you. I want you to know um, you're heard. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I, you are heard, you are seen, I'm <laughs> here for you, but I- I don't know how else to be here for I you. I don't know, but that, but also it's again, like I resonate with all of them because I would I would attract some crazy like that into my life. Right. I've been in relationships that crazy. So yeah. it was just like the girlies were uniting, you know? <laughs> Okay, I've got three, and I'm gonna be honest, they're not as unhinged as that story, so lower your expectations. Well, no, 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 that's good. <laughs> Watts and I listeners tend to be quite level-headed. Yeah, quite level-headed. I, I love mean, that for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's, I think, a, a comforting reflection. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, Beautiful. For now. Yeah, Mine for is now, a terrifying reflection. We'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll fuck that up after this episode, but. Okay, yeah. I'm a resident doctor in orthopedics, which is a male dominated field. And I got involved with my teacher before I went to residency. Now I see him all the time. The relationship is supposed to be a secret, but I feel like he's hiding me. And I've heard rumors about him seeing another girl who's also a fellow resident. She's a year older than me. If I talk to her, she might make my life impossible for the rest of the training for four years. Oh. I feel like the problem ah. is more being involved with the fucking teacher, no? Well, yeah, he, but that didn't seem like, she wasn't looking yeah, for advice on that. About yeah, that. <laughs> yeah that's, that's what's concerning because that's what you should be. I mean, you know, first of all, I guess if he's, if he's willing to bend the rules of his job to do something wrong. Is it illegal? He's probably willing to cheat on you as well with 100%. someone else. So I'm gonna assume that they're probably not exclusive in public if he's hiding her. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh my God, that's so But I feel like she's But was he hiding her just trying to keep the bills paid? Like you kind of right. signed up for that. Like yeah. you can't, what right. are you guys going to do? Like hold hands in class like while he teaches? Like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks <laughs> babe, will you pass me the scalpel? Will I cut this toe open? I do think, think there's been like oddly relatable about the fact that even people that are going to school for 97 years and are smarter than, you know, the majority of people I was literally thinking that. The fact that she's a yeah. resident doctor in orthopedics. Right. And like, she out here fucking. She yeah. out here fucking her teacher. I yeah. love that for her. So like you can have a super high IQ and also do dumb shit like that. This Absolutely. is also how like niche like categories on Pornhub get started. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, like, the storyline in this one is- Yeah, I've seen it. It, it writes itself. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, so, good for her. It's awesome. You know, women can read and have, like love that. For, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but- Girl, dump him and worry about your future. Right. I, I feel like, right, like, unless you're marrying this man, but if you're worrying that, I don't know. It's hard though, because like, what if she wants to break up with him and it's the teacher and then he- Then they both hate her. Then they both hate her, but also can he fuck with her grades, do you think? The teacher? Yeah. For sure. I mean, yeah, yeah but right? like, that would be like easy, like, It'd be easier like, to prove that like- I guess it's actually more risky for him because if he got reported, I'm sure that he would be in more trouble than her. Yeah. Mm. So keep fucking. So keep fucking. <laughs> okay, next one. A very close friend of mine, female, 26, just recently got engaged. Her fiance is a significant amount. 
Her fiance is a significant amount older than her. He's 40, which we don't have a problem with other than that he's a complete creep when it comes to talking about sex. Ooh. This couple are swingers, which not, which not kink shaming, it's not the issue. The issue is that he heavily flirts with everyone in our friend group. It makes us all wildly uncomfortable. What should we do or say to her? They're now getting married, so we don't want to be uncomfortable oh. forever. What do we say? It's awful. That's it's my. I hate that. I just had my best friend was just dating this guy who you actually know him really oh, well. He was just dating like one of my best That's friends and I right. never met him before. And their yeah. first date, he's like to, uh, begging her to like piss on her. And I was like, oh my God, like I hate that. He, he does that. Yeah. That's his thing. Yeah. It's, it gives me chlamydia. Like just yeah. from and, across the and table. And like the, the antibiotic proof variety. For sure. Yeah. Like the mental chlamydia. Yes. It's, it's awful. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it more than literally anything in the world. I don't oh know. I always come at the guy. I'm like, aren't you embarrassed, sir? I don't even like bother talking to my friend about it. Like I just, I'm very confrontational yeah, yeah, though yeah. in that regard. Yeah, yeah. So you think they should like- I think the person who wrote this, the next time he says some shit like that, be like, yo, no one wants you here but her. So maybe stop. Yeah. Oh but, if, but that's a ballsy thing to do. I mean, I guess. Because then if the friend gets upset. Yeah. I mean, if they're getting married, that's tough. But also like it's, deed is not done yet. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like talk to the friend. I, I think guess. talk to the friend. Yeah, I've seen you go, go like to the friend. Yes. Unhinged. That's the hinged thing the to hinged do. You know, thing. I think the mature, like the, yeah. the ma mature adult thing to do. But yeah, yeah, I mean, like if every single person does, like, yeah, their husband's a creep or her about to be husband's a creep. I would be mortified if mortified. Like, all of my friends thought that you were making oh. creepy passes, especially if you weren't and that wasn't the intention. Like maybe he is yeah, just a little creep. Both bad, actually. No, one hundred percent. Would he be a creep or whether everyone? Which let's be let's it's not gonna be the latter. Yeah. yeah. He's being a creep. But like yeah. that's so mortifying. Like I would be Absolutely I would wanna die. That's so embarrassing. If I'm dating a guy and he like offers my friend like a water, I'm like, Do you want her? <laughs> Do you want her? <laughs> Do Tana. you care about if she's thirsty? Like I uh uh. Uh uh. Tana. Uh uh. Oh, you like her, her. shoes? <laughs> Fuck her then. Like I'm awful. I've gotten better. I've gotten better. My current man's like such a nice guy. So I just like, I, I just let him do it. Cause he means no harm. But in my head, I'm like, Stop. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh I can't. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh fuck. It's probably some PTSD. I've done no. There's some, definitely, I'm no. saying this is the result I of people fucking you fuck over. over friend, yes. you know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tana and this is my trauma. <laughs> Let's stand a 3.0. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Wait, so do we, we go to the friend, talk to the friend. I think it's to the friend. Yeah. Because if the yeah. friend's not alarmed by it, that's probably a good indication the, the friendship's not going to last anyway. Yeah, you're so right. Like yeah, if your friend's right. not weirded out by you getting weirded mm -hmm. out that her fiance is fucking weird. Yeah. 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 Or maybe if she's super cool with it, you guys just learn right. to ignore him. Right. Like, uh, but I, it, that does, it does just suck. Right. It always sucks to see your friend be with someone you don't like or don't want them 100%. to be with. Yeah. But that's obviously a part of life and you just have to decide yeah. how you value your friendship. The amount of like guy friendships, you just like wave off in the distance. You're like, yeah, she's fucking crazy. I'll see you. Bye. 100% so for me with girls though too, you know, like yeah. when, uh, I don't know. I hate there's that shit. Like no when my answer. girlfriend just has no time and she's with her boyfriend, he's corny and he's oh, awful yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time and yeah. whatever. It's like, bye. Catch see you, on you when flip. you break up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll be here. Mm. Okay, one of my best friends has been with her boyfriend for four years and they live together for two years. They haven't had sex since they moved in together and were regularly having sex prior. That's two years of a dry spell. We've talked, we've tried to talk to her about it so many times, but she's very sensitive and defensive. He bought an engagement ring a few weeks ago and she found it. She fully plans on marrying oh. him. So we're having a full on invent. In so we're having a full on intervention in two days. I know this episode will come out after, but I need to hear your guys' input on this one. Okay, first of all, please follow up as soon as you have the intervention in two days, because I'm dying to know the outcome. So- There is so much wrong with that. Yeah. I don't know where know. to begin. Have you ever lived with a guy before? Yeah. That you were dating? Yeah. Yeah, and? Yeah. We were fucking. Got it. Or yeah. if I'm with someone and we're not like, you know what I mean? It's like, he is cheating on you. He's gay. Or maybe he has All some trauma. Maybe he is asexual. Maybe he's what, but have you, have they discussed that? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, right. Like what's happening? Like, I mean, maybe they've had a discussion that they're not giving you light on where. I mean, she's telling her friends. So it's at least a topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how anyone could live that life. Also, you're just roommates at that point. If you haven't had sex in two years, yeah. also, that's half your relationship. Yeah. Like intimacy is so important in a relationship. So that's so strange to me. I right. don't understand at all. And, and if there was like another form of intimacy that wasn't just sexual, fine. But it sounds like she's telling her friends 
they haven't fucked, right. that's a problem. Right, right, right. How right, could right. you? But I, I just want to ask her, like, if, right. if that's the case, if you tell your friends and it is a problem, like, are you okay? Right. <laughs> Why? Are you going to marry that man? I mean, like, two years? Maybe they'll have I don't know how I love you. At that point, totally. we are friends. Right. We can keep being friends. Right, right. 100%. You know? Oh my God, there's gotta be something like a deeper layer to it that's between her and this soon to be fiance. You know what I mean? There's something fucking going on there. Like maybe she's just like agreed to be his like forever beard or something. Yeah, that's so crazy. Well, no, I guess if they had sex for two years beforehand, that's probably not the case. Yeah, so was there like a crazy moment? Like did something happen where one was unattracted or did something happen where? I mean, it was moving in the catalyst? Oh my God, maybe they have a ping pong table and she just saw him chase a ping pong ball too many times. That's you what never I'm know. thinking. Yeah. 100 You're so good at like remembering things and circling back. My yeah. ADHD could never. <laughs> it's okay. I have other mental problems, mostly anxiety and depression. You guys have ADHD covered. <laughs> we got it all real. This is a better help. Ad. We got too distracted before like we got like, sad about it. We're like, wait, what was I doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Where am I? Right. You can't be sad when you forget. Okay. Yeah. So you have a new podcast. And I've always said that. <laughs> so you have a new podcast coming out? Mm. Or is it announced? Well, my podcast canceled, just took a bit of a hiatus. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and we are back so soon. Um, we soon? we like got in ish. trouble because we thought it was going to be the beginning of January for a fact. Okay. And then we were having some issues with the set, getting the set done and getting where we're going to do it done. So it pushed it back a little. So I'm, I'm not... I'm not in a date. Space don't don't right add now. a date. Don't add a date. Don't, yeah. I'm not adding a date. But I mean, I I definitely think before April. I definitely think before March. I okay. definitely think hopefully in February. Oh shit! Um, okay, and that's, so fast. I, that's why I'm doing my rounds right now. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, getting yeah. the word out there, letting people know it will mm -hmm. be back. And then Jeff and I are starting a show as well. I've been co-hosting. Oh, separate show. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah! <laughs> well, I've been co-hosting. Jeff FM with Jeff yeah. for so long. Um, and then it just makes we sense like, for you guys to have one together. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I want some I want some equity in this right. business yeah, yeah, now yeah, that we yeah, know yeah. it works. You know what I mean? So we're excited for that. We Do you guys have a name for it? Done. We have, we're debating between two names and it is so close to being locked in. We're shooting the assets for mm -hmm. it in like a week where we, it's it's there. The name we wanted was um, legally we couldn't have it. Yeah. yeah. So it like set us back a little because yep. it's like, I don't think every name just yells in comparison to us. We to had the what same we fucking problem. At the really? very beginning. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And fuck these people who fucking trademark these names and then don't even have a and show with just, it anymore. Yeah. They just literally sit on it. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I'm it's like, brutal. Yeah. I mean, the name that we wanted was also friends with benefits. So obviously that's oh. trademarked. Yep. Um, yep. So I don't really know who I'm bitching to. Yep. But, um, yep. 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 Those are, those are coming and I'm just, I'm excited to be, cause I've been, in the time, the free time, I've been just going on everyone else's podcast because right. yeah. I miss it so much. Mm -hmm. It just feels so good to talk about. Okay, okay, you're gonna okay, you're gonna name the show Friends with Benefits with, between you and Jeff as if that's not going to just cause more controversy. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. Like the very first time, like, well, like I make jokes about you and Jeff, and you're like, no, it's not like that. And then you like are gonna name it Friends that, with Benefits. Honestly, we both love that though. Like fucking with the people. Adding feel so much fuel to the fire, but then being like, I can't believe you'd accuse us of being more than <laughs> friends. I don't, it's bad. It is bad. You're projecting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, but it, friends with benefits kind of worked as a double entendre because that's literally what we are like financial benefits right. are the yeah, benefits. Yeah. You know, no, no, so that's like, like how I read into it at first. I was like, oh, it's a great name. Yeah. But I mean, it definitely does feed that beast. That more. narrative. Yeah, 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 for sure. But also, secret boyfriend that's like down with everything, I feel like gives you the ability to do that. Well, make those jokes? Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought you meant actually be friends with benefits and Jeff. I was like, well, he's not that chill. Um, <laughs> no, uh, no, that um, would be weird. But no, no, yeah. it's like, like for those that know, mm -hmm. yeah, and then there's everybody else. Exactly. Also, I mean, I feel like anyway. I'm in the place where I could only be with someone in any regard, dating wise, at least for the next three to four years. That is very secure, um, and down with my lifestyle because I'm not stopping for now. Right. You know, and yeah. I, I can't. I have no choice. You know, like kids got to go to college one day. So. True. True. You know. I think I would like to talk about these kids is that they're here. Like yeah. the kids they got might to be college. anybody in their college. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But. <laughs> <laughs> and in birth control, we say amen. Oh, when God. do you guys want kids? Like, do you want kids? Kid. 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 One kid. kid. One kid. We were both only children. Yeah. yeah. Oh my, God, I was an only child. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Everyone and, at home's like, and it shows. And all we of can you. see yeah, that 100%. in all of you. I just don't want to wow. be outnumbered. We also have two dogs right now. So even thinking about like two dogs and a kid, you were outnumbered. Yeah. One kid is crazy to me though, because it's like, then they really got to kick it with you. Like I want <laughs> to, because I'm like, y'all go do something. Yeah. Mommy yeah, and daddy yeah. are gonna, we're out, you know. Boys, no. girls, both. I'm kidding. Yeah, I kind of want a lot of kids. Really? Yeah, wow. I almost had the, the opposite. Like, you know what I mean? I, well, I yeah. was an only child, um, but then my best friend's family like adopted me when I was like 12 or 13. Yep. And so 
I kind of got the best of both worlds because my best friend Amari, he has a brother and a sister and they're oh, like right. my so siblings. Like in their family. And I just, I love it so much more. I don't know. It's okay. so fun. You know what I mean? Like yeah. being like, how fucking annoying are our parents right now? You so know, two, like I love yeah. like- Four, six? Eight, 10. Who eight. do we appreciate? Okay, no, got it. I'm, no, I mean, six would, that's like- I would say maximum would be like five or six. You have to get started oh soon God. for six. I know. Yeah. No, you're young. What are you, 26, 25? 24. Oh, 24? Wow. Oh my God. You have 10. Oh my God, but you have I, so and then many. I see Kylie with her two kids. Oh, she's 24. Like, what am I doing wrong? But I also would adopt. <laughs> so I yeah. could get a head start that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be like 29 and get a nine-year-old. True. Yeah, you're so right. True. Head, which I love. I love an adoption. Or a surrogate at most. I'm not. Do you want to be pregnant? <sighs> nothing's coming out of my vagina like oh that. Oh my God. So serious. Dude, I just like, I, I, have you seen that girl on TikTok who has that list of reasons to not get pregnant? It's no, like, but I need to know. Okay, so she, every time she sees like a crazy TikTok about like something, just a horror story of like giving birth, she adds it to her list and it's over 300 at this point. And so like, for example, my best friend's mom, her asshole ripped from her vagina to her asshole. That's like one in five women. That's, that's one a in five common women. girl. Oh my I don't God. need one big hole. Yeah. One gaping hole or yeah. like shitting on the table. Like there's just, and that's just like number one and two in the list of 300 that this girl has. And that's the thing too, is it's like people want their family there. I'm not I shitting know. on anyone's table in front of my mother in law. Oh, yeah. This is it. That's it. Oh my God. Yes. Is this the list girl? Yeah. This yeah. is list girl. Oh, I'm about to print that out and make it a coffee table book. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Sick. I would totally, like, if you didn't want to have the kid and you wanted yeah. to be a surrogate, that would be fine. I just like. It's just surrogacy is cool to me. It's cool. It's yeah. so, like, do you know Kim and Kanye? Not that they're the, the, Example, the picturesque, yeah. um, but I'm saying they. You were saying Kanye's got some good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm not saying that. And if anyone clips it, they have a problem with me. Hmm. Um, no, but they. There's a video of them. I don't know what it was for, but like they were at the Met Gala together one mm -hmm. day, and they they walked the carpet at the Met Gala. Yep. They did the whole nine. They went to bed. They woke up and they flew to the birth of their child. Okay, so our good friends, two gay husbands, yeah, like obviously they can't naturally conceive a child yeah. to bring into the world. And so same thing, they flew up to go be there for the birth of their child. And I love that. I know. You know what I mean? I love that. Science is fucking crazy. Hand. Science yeah. is fucking crazy. It is, it's so crazy. And the, the thing now where people like can genetically choose everything on yeah. a baby. Oh my that God, that's pretty wild. Me. My boyfriend's little brother was that. They were yeah. like blue eyes, boy, like whole really? nine. Oh my God, really? how old is he? Like how recent was He's that? He's a newborn. Oh, yeah. okay, got yeah. it, got it, got yeah. it, got it, got it. I was but, like, I was like, was this like the beginning of it? Like 15 years ago when they yeah. started doing that? I was yeah, like, you no. me like the first round of that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's what I was like, mad at that. Isn't that like a thing that woke culture hates that people can like choose their- Yeah, because they're like, oh, you're playing God. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Like, I, I genuinely- Oh, so is it not even woke culture? It's like conservative culture hates that? I think they both hate it. Oh. Yeah. I think everyone can find a reason. Double whammy there. Yeah, no. double homicide. Like, the idea where if, <laughs> if you could eliminate like all of the things that could potentially give you cancer one day. Right. Eliminate it. What? Do that. I'm like, yes, vape yeah, in my hand. <laughs> it's too late for us, yeah, but for everybody oh, so else. Fucking too late. Oh, yeah. you're saying that like, if you can see <laughs> yes. while you're like conceiving in a Petri dish, yeah. Like of a thing that's gonna give you cancer. Oh yeah, fucking eradicate that. If you could that. just like in yeah, the middle, absolutely. like yeah, yeah, not yeah, the yeah. cells itself, but like yeah. just like pluck out the little yeah. DNA no cancer, thing. Yeah. No, no diabetes. Yeah, a yeah, twelve yeah. inch cock. Send him in there. Right. Dead yeah. ass. Okay. I don't know if I want that part, but it's for <laughs> someone. It's for someone. No, we want a gay son. We we really want to. We want oh one God. gay son. I was just talking about that too the other day with my man. I was like, we're our, if we had a son. He'd be fighting for his life because daddy's <laughs> going to be like, let's go run and go to the gym and play football. Like he's such a like guy's guy. Right. And then I'm going to be like, come with mommy to get her lashes done. Yeah. Like it's up to God if he's gay or not, you know? Like, oh my God. But like, I genuinely think that would be, that would be ideal. If I had like a little crafty gay son, oh my that's God. my dream. Literally, abs absolutely same. That's like all my best friends pretty much are. That's what, yeah. I'm not, um, what's the a word? Crafty gay like, son. I'm not like fetishizing it or whatever the word no. is. I'm just saying I get along so well. That's what it is, is that like, I just find friends who are in that category that like, I would just want to have like a little mini version of me that does all that. Of my I, and the gays are funnier. The gays are just funnier they than also, the straights. So they go back over. home. Yeah. Like all of my straight guy friends, just like say goodbye to mom and dad and like, that's it. And oh my God, Jeremy talks to his mother once every couple months. That's so true. I oh, I'd be so heartbroken. I totally get the moms out there. So like if I like, I'd be pissed. Like yeah. you wanna fight? I fucking raised you. Yeah, yeah. I paid for somebody I else to take you them out of your vagina. I carried you in my womb. Yeah. For or nine months, I ripped my asshole open for you. Or yeah, you paid for somebody else to do it. Either one. Either, either one. one. Either yeah. one. Either one. Mm. Wow, Tana 7.0 fucks. 
Yeah, I'm on board. I I'm love like, you guys. I'm she like, shows up on time. She's on time. She's a timely girl. Not to like uh, make you manifest in, in real time, but what are the things that you feel like you're most excited to achieve that you have yet? I don't, that's, it's so hard for me. I really don't know. And I always just, I have the corniest answer every single time where it's like happiness, like, yeah. but I, I love it. Like, I feel like I'm the happiest and like on and cl like the clarity I have right now in life is, because I've just been going for years. It's so awesome. So I would love to continue to just actually, this is the first time where I'm really working on myself. I've yeah. been just going and yeah, going. You exude that right now. It's it, like it's obvious. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it's that. It's not like a tweet know. that I read. Like I'm like really happy right now. It's like <laughs> you're like in all lowercase. You just seem healthy with the colon. Yeah. Um, no, but I am. But I don't know. Yeah, just I'm excited for my. I'm definitely entering my property buying property era. I'm excited yeah, for real estate Tana to be unlocked. Right. I'm gonna write a book. All the normal. Crazy. Oh my God. Like if you're not stuff. on Selling Sunset next season, I'll be pissed. That's what I'm saying. I love yeah. Christine Quinn. I love Selling Sunset. I love Selling Sunset. The you drama. Oh, I would live. live for it. Yeah. Live for it. I mean, you should also just have a complex in Nevada as well. That's what I'm thinking. That only yeah. makes sense. That's what I'm thinking. Brothel vibes 180, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what city is that in? It's uh, yeah. uh What city is that in? It's, is it Barstow or like Baker or something like that? Uh, I have to pretend like I don't know the name of it for a little bit longer. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, what is it? I think it's Reno. <laughs> oh, definitely in Reno. Yeah. Definitely in Reno. Reno's, yeah. it's like Reno's where, a place. It's like wherever Lamar was when he had like 97, like oh, organic yeah. 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 No, I think that, well, I don't think that was Reno. Oh, fuck. The way I know, I'm so pop culture. Yeah. I don't know like my own middle name, but then I can tell you like everything. Like, no, 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 that was, a, you're, you're thinking of this. Yeah, okay. it's so bad. I can um, tell you like the Kardashians, all their like middle names. It's so sad. <laughs> so what I'm getting from this is that the ultimate like, like climax of this will be TanaCon 2.0. It's actually so funny. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What are you no, about I'm to kidding. say? <laughs> I took some meetings uh, recently where pe people, ever since TanaCon, I was talking about this yesterday for so long. Like it, when it ended, people just in the business world, I've right. taken every meeting think it's such a good idea. And I'm like, it's really not. Oh, and people like they, this idea. Oh, they, they're people are pitching it on always. 2.0. Like all the like touring, the yeah, biggest ones, yeah, all yeah, the ticketing yeah, yeah. companies, people. I mean, people love a redemption arc. So I think the business side of people, like they want it. So, but right. it's, it's no, absolutely not. No Tanacons <laughs> for me. Now, just hearing you say that with such clarity, I think I it'll think. happen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Someone will come along and be like, okay, fine, we'll do it. No, I, I don't I don't think so. It's just a lot goes into that. And like yeah. I, I think I would drive myself insane. Right. I mean, you know, they're you know, they're you never never say never, I guess, but like no. Like literally no, I think I'd drive myself insane. She's just trying to get the price <laughs> up. That's all it is. Right. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna send this in a pitch check. No, I'm kidding. Seriously. I would tour. I love touring. I love like stand up vibes and all that type of stuff, but like live podcasting tours. But oh my god, yeah. yeah that, that's that, that'll be so good for you, I feel like. Are you you guys should do that? One day. Point, yeah, you? one day. I mean, we started the podcast like during COVID when we just like didn't see anyone for a fucking year. So yeah. now we're like, oh, like we could go out into the world. Yeah. Yeah, it would be so fun. Honestly. For the right so price, fun. we could do that. Yeah, for the uh, right price. Yeah, I mean, like there'd be like worse people to travel the world with for free. Yeah. 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 Stop, you guys. I'm going to kill myself. Out of the romantic. <laughs> well, okay. So we have Tannabis. We have a new podcast. We've got Tannacon not going to happen. We have Dizzy that's going to have some new products. What do we miss? Dizzy for a while, though. Okay. Tannabis is the focus. But yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Honestly, I've known you both for so long and all the settings we've been in or you you name it we've seen each other everywhere Truly. and stuff and <laughs> we don't we've never had a moment like so wholesome like this and i like i love the show i was catching up on it last night like thank you for having me I'm thanks for coming here coming. being on time yeah. everyone on the shit you guys fucking hear that <laughs> no i'm kidding i'm kidding thank you for having me wild till nine if you haven't liked subscribe to all the things she's already done and it's almost it nine so wow look at us wow look yeah. at that i got that's it for me that's it Tana, you're right. the best. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks all for coming. See you next week. Bye.